Good afternoon, church family. Hope you're having a, a great Thursday. And uh, I forgot my hat today, so pray that my little bald spot back here doesn't get too sunburned as I'm out here hiking today. Spend some time with the Lord. And one of my favorite things to do while I'm hiking is just to spend some time with God. And it's amazing how he just talks when you're quiet and let him speak. It's amazing how he reveals himself and how he talks to you. And uh, two big thoughts he put into my mind. It's the fact that um, there's a song that came to my mind while I was up here. In his time, he makes all things beautiful in his time. And I just got to wait on God in his timing, and I just got to trust him with everything that goes on. And as I was walking and getting to this point in my hike today, a verse came to my mind. From the ends of the earth will I cry unto thee when my heart is overwhelmed. The next verse there in Psalms, I believe it's 62, the Bible tells us, Lead me to the rock that is higher than I when my heart is overwhelmed. As I was walking, this is what I appeared behind me. You can kind of see it. Look at that rock. It reminds me of Jesus Christ. It reminds me of our Savior. It's a solid foundation, unshakable. It's a rock. And we have been studying on when on Sunday night, we talked about how those that hear the word and do the word, they are founded on the rock. When the hard times come, when the struggles we have in life come, we need the rock. And David in that psalm, he said, when my heart's overwhelmed, lead me to the rock. And maybe you're out there today. And I know that in our church, there's still many that are struggling with uh, just life in general having a tough time. May I give you the advice that David gave in the midst of his trials? Lord, lead me to the rock that's higher than I when my heart's overwhelmed. And when you're overwhelmed, get your heart, get yourself to the rock. We need the rock. Jesus is our rock. And thank God that he's our rock. And thank God that we can build our lives upon him and be safe and secure in all that we do. But just let that be a little good reminder for you today. When you're overwhelmed, when you're having a tough time, hey, Lord, lead me to the rock that's higher than I. Hey, when you're founded on the rock, nothing's going to move you. You're going to be stand still. And when we're down on the sand and we're down below those things, there's a lot of things that can get to us and a lot of things that can mess us up. But get on the rock. Stay near the rock. And when your heart's overwhelmed, to stay close to the rock. And I know there are a lot of you struggling today. Let's live for God today. Let's give him our best. Let's get to the rock. Let's be what he's called us to be. You realize that when the body's not right, the whole body's not right. And so I'm praying for you. I'm here. If you need anything, let me know. Still got an appointment or two available tomorrow if anybody would like that. I'll have a word of prayer with you. Father, we love you. We thank you for today and for your love for us. I pray that whoever's out there today that's overwhelmed that watches this video today, I pray that you'd work in their lives and that you'd touch their hearts and that you'd help them get to the rock, that shelter. I'm so glad to know the rock doesn't move. The storms can come, the winds can blow, but the rock's going to stay firm. Thank you for being our rock. Thank you for being our stability in an unstable world. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. The rock, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Let me encourage you, this Sunday is going to be a great Sunday as we study in the, um, we start our study on the attributes of God. We're going to look at God's holiness in Isaiah chapter number six. Something happened in Isaiah's life, and Isaiah lost the king of Israel. He loved that king, and he got to see the king high and lifted up, holy, set apart. We're going to look at the holiness of God on Sunday, and I sure hope that you'll be there and be a part of that. And then um, also Saturday evening, we're having our movie, I Still Believe, at 7 p.m. If you're coming, I need to know that. So send me a text so I can know that. Hope you have a great day. I love you. If there's anything you need, let me know, and we will see you later.